Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And together we're Backyard Musings. Yep. And you're in Apple Valley. Mm -hmm. And I'm still on the Wasatch Front. You can see my Egyptian artwork on the wall. Um, yep. And just in case you don't know, maybe you're new. We broadcast twice a day, 7 a.m. We do not we do not broadcast on Sundays. So Monday through Saturday. Two, two episodes. Science yep. and technology. Morning and afternoon. Morning and afternoon. Yep. Okay. Calcium supplements do not appear to raise dementia risk. Long-term data support their safety for older women. New findings from Edith Cowan University, Curtin University, and the University of Western Australia show no link between calcium supplementation alone and an increased long-term risk of dementia. Ooh, I'm glad we know that. The results ease earlier concerns that calcium might negatively affect brain health in older women. Would you like to know more? Uh, the study drew on data from earlier research involving 1,460 women who received their either calcium supplements or a placebo over a five-year period, so a pretty long test. Uh, researchers found that calcium intake did not raise the likelihood of developing dementia later in life. Quote, calcium supplements are often recommended to prevent or manage osteoporosis, said ECU PhD student Ms. Nagar Gash Gashemafard. Gashemafard? Gashemafard. Yeah, can't uh, make that up, man. No, I guess not. Uh, and I don't even know where that would come from, you think? Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe it's European, French. I don't know. European someplace. Yeah. Uh, approximately 20% of women over 70 experienced osteoporosis, and calcium is commonly advised as a preventative measure to reduce fracture risk. So, yeah, mm -hmm. my mom had osteoporosis pretty bad. Yeah. And I'm mm -hmm. trying to think when she developed it. It was probably, I think she was a little older than 70. But, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. She had compressed spine and and uh, yeah pretty pretty bad mm. uh, quote previous research has raised concerns around the impacts that calcium supplements could have on cognitive health particularly dementia results from our study provide reassurance to patients that and clinicians regarding the safety of calcium supplements in the context of dementia risk for older women Ms Gesemafard said. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's interesting why it affects women so much more than men, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, quote, previous research suggesting potential links between calcium supplement use and the risk of dementia were purely observational in nature. Our research in comparison consisted of a post hoc analysis from a five-year double-blind placebo-controlled randomized clinical trial on calcium supplements to prevent fracture. Uh, whilst our study is still um, epidemiology, yep. it still does, its design does not in, uh, reduce the likelihood of unmeasured confounding. It so, does reduce. Uh, I'm sorry, it does reduce not. the likelihood yeah. of unmeasured confounding. So right. go ahead. I was going to say. Right. I was well, gonna, I was just going to keep going. Go, you go yeah, ahead. Fine. No, go ahead. All right. Uh, quote, um, continuing the quote, some 730 older women were given calcium supplements over five years and a further 730 were given a placebo, half and half. This study design offers more accurate data on dosage and duration. We have a long follow-up period of 14 and a half years, which strengthens our results, Dr. Sims said. That That is a long study, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Although the results help ease worries about calcium supplements, and their connection to dementia and older women, especially those around over 80. Professor Simon Laws, director of ECU's Center for Precision Health, emphasized that additional studies are still needed. Quote, whether this extrapolates to other demographics such as men or even women commencing supplementation earlier in life remains unknown. To confirm the current findings, particularly regarding brain health and to address these population gaps, <clears throat> Future clinical trials of calcium supplements with or without vitamin D would need to be undertaken. These should include specific and robust assessments of brain health as the primary outcome measures. Uh, Professor Blossom Stefan. Oh, a what a beautiful name. Stefan or Blossom? Blossom. Blossom, okay. A Dementia Australia honorary medical advisor said the research highlighted a very important finding 
that provides reassurance to clinicians and patients about the long-term safety of calcium, su calcium supplementation. Quote, given calcium's critical role in multiple uh, physiological functions, including bone health, these results provide reassurance that long-term calcium supplementation did not increase dementia risk in older women, she said. Okay. Okay. To so rule that out. Yeah. 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 Or drink Good story. Cold milk. Yeah. Yeah. Good story. All right, folks. Thanks for joining Take us. Take care, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.